we can say by looking at the satellite presentation today of what we what is a, literally a tropical wave uh, some outflow now you can see kind of this feathery look to some of the clouds the thunderstorm is a bit more consolidated near the center and based on buoy data and reports from the hurricane hunter planes it almost has a closed circulation when it does it will be designated tropical storm Isaias. So we'll wait for that to happen in the next uh, day. Probably, probably could be by this time tomorrow for sure. We'll watch it. Here's the five o'clock advisory. I just did a tweet and I did a Facebook post with my thoughts on this in detail. Uh, the motion is west northwest at 23, going right over some very high terrain. Uh, over Haiti and the Dominican Republic. What's left of that may try to get its act together again. Most track modeling has shifted east, and some modeling, some reliable modeling, is now east of Florida. The Hurricane Center doesn't just go with it. They go slowly, because you don't want to go with it, all of a sudden have tonight's run go, well, it's actually back here again. Before you know it, you're doing a windshield wiper. Back and forth, back and forth. You kind of lose credibility doing that. So it's, they go a slight shift to the east. If the trends continue tonight, it's more of a shift to the east. Tomorrow, it's more of a shift if the model trends continue. But here's the GFS ensembles. These are just a number of different model runs of the GFS with slightly different inputs. Uh, the European model ha has become stronger and more to the east. You can see the center here and see the time on top. Uh, again, this is a model run. Does not mean this is going to verify for sure. That's for sure. Uh, but it's a trend, and that's what we look for. We don't look for exact positioning. We look for model trends, and that makes a big difference.